make stuff. My name is LaShawn Thomas and I'm a producer and director uh, for television animation production in Hollywood, California. I've worked in the business for over 10 years. Shows uh, such as The Boondock, Seasons 1 and 2 on Adult Swim, Cartoon Network. I serve as a supervising character designer and a co-director, working as a story artist. Uh, the Legend of Korra, book one. Most recently, I served as a creative producer and um, supervising director on Black Dynamite, the animated series. A few years ago, I uh, quit my job at Warner Brothers Animation and uh, moved overseas to South Korea to work in the uh, television animation production industry as a subcontracting animator and storyboard artist. And over the course of my time overseas, I uh, started developing a couple of projects of my own. I was able to share some of that experience uh, and document it online and called it Soul Sessions. One of those projects was an animated adaptation of a comic book that I created called Cannon Busters. Cannon Busters is an adventure fantasy comedy series about how sometimes a dangerous and perilous journey can be measured in friends and not in mimes. The story centers around Sam, who is a high-end, naive, royal-class friendship robot, and her journey trying to be reunited with her best friend, Prince Kelby, who is the heir to a very influential but peaceful kingdom. There's a sorcerer named Lot who, without warning, descends upon the unsuspecting kingdom. He's searching for an artifact known only as the Last Heart. Believing the king to be in possession of the Last Heart, he abducts him. Meanwhile, Prince Kelby is on the run. Sam, having never left the kingdom walls ever, is now suddenly separated from her best friend, her kingdom, and all that she knows. And she is befriended by three individuals who also want to get to him for their own selfish reasons. Casey Turnbuckle, a uh, kind of spunky, endlessly positive, outdated uh, maintenance droid. A wandering, masterless swordsman who goes by the name of Nine with a shameful past. The greatest swordsman never known in search of a kingdom to serve and a very brash, reluctant, and uh, dangerous wanted criminal, Philly the Kid, who's also an immortal, who's constantly being attacked by bounty hunters at every turn. And we follow these characters, a motley crew, so to speak, together on their journey um, in hopes of reuniting Sam with her best friend. It's a story filled with action and adventure, drama, as well as comedy. There's also a lot of visual motifs throughout this project such as spaghetti westerns, steampunk, also RPG elements, touches of hip hop culture. The story at its core is a road show. Think Wizard of Oz meets Hidden Fortress with a dash of Escaflone. There's a lot of nods to some of the things that I'm a really big fan of and things that I loved growing up as a kid. The goal was to create a 10 minute pilot. And unfortunately during my time in South Korea, I ran out of finances and there were several pitches from investors to develop the project, but they all came with too many strings attached and they wanted to water down my vision. I haven't seen so many creators over the last couple of years get their projects funded on Kickstarter. I was convinced that perhaps crowdfunding was the best way for me to get my vision brought to life and hand it directly to the fans of these genres. I sat down and thought about it and I was able to reach out to some of the most talented individuals in the industry who happen to be my colleagues as well about helping me bring this project together. I have always been a huge fan of animation. I think, you know, I fell into comics pretty miraculously. I was an intern at Marvel and one thing led to another and that sort of segued into the video game industry for me. It's really influenced me for, for a long time when I started in comics. I was watching tons of anime, Akira, Megazone, whatever I could get my hands on, you know, Berserk, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I, it's, it's 
really uh, influenced my style. Over the years, I've uh, had the opportunity to do concept art, mostly for video games like Darksiders. And I'm really excited about the idea of, of, you know, finally getting to work in animation and, you know, designing some characters for Cannon Busters. With the additional talents of Thomas Romain, who served as a mecha designer for Space Dandy, was a co-creator of Basquash, co-director and character designer of Oban Star Racers, it really brings this project to another level. Thomas's skill and years of experience as an anime creator, working on some of Japan's top titles, adds another layer of quality to this project, and we couldn't be more excited about having him on board. I was an animation producer on the Drake vs. Lil Wayne tour, Miss Atomic Bomb, The Legend of Korra, and Batman Under the Red Hood. So the U.S. makes a limited number of new cartoons every year, and most of those are dedicated to children or sitcoms. So if you want to make or if you want to watch a science fiction fantasy for teenagers, you kind of have to go outside of the system to get that. And I feel like Kickstarter is a great way to accomplish that. To be able to work with all of these guys and for us to like pool all of our talents and experience and excitement together to create something awesome. It's kind of a revelation to the kind of content we're gonna be able to produce, the kind of quality we're gonna be able to produce. And that can only happen with the support of fans of this type of genre. Viewers get to choose through a list of incentives we provided. And through those lists, they get to decide which they wanna pledge. Any donation they give helps us get closer to our goal. So the more you donate, the better quality we can give you. I think Kickstarter is a great opportunity to be able to communicate directly with the fans and the audience that you're trying to reach um, without the interference of a network or a studio. Um, it really gives you a chance to be able to hear directly from your audience and to offer to your audience a pure, undiluted version of what you want to create and what they want to see. There really aren't enough you know, action adventure shows that skew a little bit older. Uh, you know, most of these shows are coming, you know, out of Japan and getting translated, but there aren't many that are being produced with the Western audience in mind. I think a series like this, it's, it's exactly the kind of show that I want to see more of. So I'm really happy that I have this chance to work on something like this. So I'm like all over this, I would like to help any way I can. I hope it's it's not the last animation project that I'm involved in. Sometimes you have to create what it is you want to be a part of and not wait for someone to hand it to you. And I think Kickstarter allows that kind of freedom to do so. So help us make Cannon Buses a reality. We look forward to your donations and kind support in helping us achieve this goal. Thanks.